My name is Nala Price, I'm from Sebring, Florida, and I auditioned for The Voice after my mom had the idea. She was like, hey Nala, do you wanna go audition for The Voice? So I was like, yeah, sure, of course, why not? So actually I auditioned for season 11. I made it all the way up to executives and then I was cut after that point, so I had to go home. And so then when this, when this season came around, I was like, okay, well, why not try again? Because it doesn't hurt to try again. So I came back and I auditioned and now I'm here and I'm very grateful and I'm so excited. So my biggest supporters are definitely my family and my best friends, Julia and Jasmine. And I'm very grateful that I have them. They're always in the audience at every, every event that I perform at. And I couldn't do it without them. They make me feel so at home and they just make me feel a lot more relaxed and less nervous when I perform. So um, I'm a senior in high school, so I'm, I'm still in high school right now, working on my work while I'm here. And I'm, I'm definitely having a great time being here and finishing my work here. So my blind auditions went amazing. I was so excited before going out on stage. You know, a little bit nervous, I'm sure, just like everyone else. But I just, I prayed right before I went on and I got all those nerves out, took some deep breaths. And when I went out there, it was just the greatest feeling I've ever had. I love performing and it gives me no feeling like I've ever had before. And when chairs turned, my heart just stopped. I didn't know, like, you know, it was all a blur because my dream was coming true at that moment, just to be able to be out there performing for the world, and it felt great. Well, Adam was the first chair turn for me and for that day, and that made me feel very confident in what I had practiced and worked so hard on, and it was just, it was one of the most amazing experiences and the most amazing feeling that I've ever had. Well, you know, I started out doing theater in my hometown theater in Sebring, Florida, and I did a lot of musical theater, so singing, dancing, and acting. Those are three things that I really love to do, and I still do to this day. And ever since I was younger, I was just like, Mom, I want to be a performer, and you know, that's all I've ever wanted to do. That's what I want to do as my career. It's what I want to do with my life, and it's definitely, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. Some of my musical inspirations are Adele, ZZ Ward, Alicia Keys, Amy Winehouse. I love soul and pop and R&B. You know, I've watched a show for such a long time, and I was like, you know what, my mom was, had the idea. She was like, why don't you try out? You know, you love singing, you love being a performer and doing all this, why don't you do it? So I gave it a shot, and now I'm here, and it feels amazing. I could have never imagined to be here. You know, I really look forward just to the experience that this opportunity has given me. I've already been learning so much being here already from all of the new friends I've met, from the coaches I've had the experience, and the, um, I've been very grateful to be able to work with these people. They've taught me so much, and I'm already learning and growing as an artist, and that was my main goal coming here. I wanted to learn and grow as an artist and as a person, and I really feel like that's happening. I'm not as comfortable with, you know, rock and roll and stuff like that, but definitely, actually, my battle partner and I have been given a song like that, so I definitely want to um, have that challenge, you know, make the most of that challenge and make the most of the song we've been given and try my hardest to also put my own twist on it.